right guys, so it's Sunday, 45 degrees out. Eliminations are today. We got a Pro Charge Nova streetcar in the class. And so, uh, had some trouble starting the car this morning, so we just put the stock plugs back in and it uh, fired right up. So now we're putting the colder plugs back in, drain everything, got the well up to temp, she's ready to go. Mechanic Marvin in the building. streetcar competition there. You're supposed to be driving to the lanes, no big deal. You drove to the lanes, AC on, cruise control. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, crank driven pro charger. Interesting, bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out. Sunday, midnight, Childress, almost home. All right, guys, I've been really good about filming on the camera, but once we started racing, I started filming on the phone because it was just hard to carry the camera and help Barry out and do everything we were doing. So I just, it was easier to just pick up the phone and film. So I'm going to finish the video on the phone. Um, sneak peek uh so anyways tx2k you know didn't go as planned we made some changes to the car and we really needed all those five qualifiers that you know you typically would get but you really don't get every time tx2k comes around because weather happens you're working on the car or whatever but um we're testing out methanol injection because at the high boost we're trying to run with ethanol you need some methanol to help the IATs, or you can go to air to water, but we've pulled the air to water off because we're trying to save weight on the car, and air to waters even don't even work that good at this, you know, this super high boost level. You really gotta be completely on M1 or be doing meth injection. So a lot of the cars you'll see, you know, running these super high boost levels and on ethanol, E85, um, even Ignite, one ethanol, they'll be doing some type of methanol injection or mixing methanol in the fuel. So anyways, we've been playing with that, and typically, with a methanol injection system, you know, you just control it by like your little gauge. But since we have it in the Holly, we're trying to control it on the Holly and we just don't have a lot of data and you don't want to go, you know, Joe doesn't want us going and just dumping a ton of methanol and pulling fuel out and not having good data because you can literally lose a motor messing around with that type of stuff, pulling fuel and everything. So um, we really, what we did on the first pass when we went 759 is, I told Joe, I was like, man, we may only get one qualifier, so we should pull off the meth kit and just run the ethanol with the air to air and just run a little bit higher intake air temps. At least we could qualify because we know the car can go like a mid seven. So we did that. And then we ended up getting a second qualifier. So like, perfect, we're qualified. Now we can try the meth injection system. All right, gonna finish out the video out here. It's getting kind of loud in the shop. Joe and them were cleaning and being crazy and not getting shit done like normal. So anyways, made the first pass air to air, uh, no methanol injection, went 759, which is a new personal best for Barry and new personal best for the car. Um, like 180 miles an hour, which is really cool to see the car trapping back in the 180s. Um, so we finally were making progress on the car. Um, I'm not gonna say exactly what we found out, but essentially we had found out some stuff in the Holly that was just a simple, stupid mistake. Um, that needs to be changed with these coyotes at this power level. So essentially we weren't running into this issue until we got to like the 30 plus pound boost. And once we got into that area, then we realized there's an issue with the Holly at that high of boost with a coyote. So 
Um, Joe's never tuned a Coyote before, so we're all just kind of figuring it out as we're going. You know, we, we're talking to people, bouncing ideas off of people, but we're really just trying to figure it out. Um, not a lot of people out there in the classes that we're in are running a Holly Coyote setup with a straight axle. <laughs> so you guys know the struggles we've had with the straight axle. Same thing, we're just trying to figure it out and we finally have finally, after all this time, got a handle on it. And I gotta give it to Barry, man. The guy that owns the car now is like, I was saying, I was like, man, he's been really patient with us because, you know, I thought I was selling him a car that should run the numbers it's running now and even faster. And I'm just now uh, following through on that. It took us, you know, I don't know, seven, eight months to figure it out. So huge thanks to Barry for believing in us because we knew what we could do. It was just, you know, when you get to these power levels and going this fast, it really takes a lot of time and testing. And we're doing things that people haven't done. Yes, people run Hollies on cars. Yes, people run straight axles on cars that are IRS. But the combo that we're running, not a lot of people are running. And if they have run it, they're not sharing that much information. So it's how do you figure it out? You just go out and do it. Um, yes, we could have been on a stock ECU with Lund tuning it. We could have been on a stock IRS and been in the sixes already. Um, but we decided to do something different and do different things with the car and build it, you know, the way that we would build a car. And so now we're having to figure it out and we've been figuring it out. We're finally reaping some of the benefits of all that, that time that we put in when I own the car and then the changes that we've made since I've sold the car. So anyways, um, we qualified really well. I mean, Barry literally qualified number eight in a pack of freaking wolves, man. Like every, not every car, but a lot of cars in there have been sixes. Cletus, Brett, Brett and Cletus been deep, deep into the sixes. Uh, Cletus ended up not qualifying in the fast class, but uh, there's a Pro Charge Nova in there. It's been sixes. Brian Luna's been sixes. Um, and pretty much besides those, almost every other car besides like one or two that fell into the pack um, literally are 7017 cars. Like they are literally on the brink of breaking into the sixes. So it was a very, very fast class and it's crazy to even think how fast that class is now. Um, but anyways, so we qualified. Um, we just needed a few more passes to keep testing the methanol. Cause like I said, we don't want to lean out the car and have the methanol coming in and not pull enough fuel or pull too much fuel. And what happened was we probably pulled or didn't pull enough fuel, so the car was pretty rich. Um, so Joe started figuring out the tune, started bouncing ideas off each other and other people, and uh, just looking at data logs, we just didn't have that much data to go off of. We literally had the one methanol pass. So uh, Barry ended up pulling the Pro Charge Nova. That car went a 699. It's pretty much an eighth mile car. It's not geared for quarters. So that guy was, I think he went like 440s in the eighth, and then he's obviously letting off towards the end about the thousand foot, maybe sooner, and going 690s. Um, so, but Barry went a personal best, went 12060 foot, which is so slow for a straight axle car, but the fastest we've been on the straight axle, because like I said, we're trying to figure it out. And so obviously we're going in the right direction now, it's going faster. Um, so at 120, it went like 476 in the eighth at 152 miles an hour, new personal best, new ET best, new mile per hour best. And then it went a 730 at 187, which is, it's respectable. I mean, obviously the car should be way faster, but even to be in the low sevens um, is pretty respectable. So it, it takes a lot. People just think, you know, you can dump a shit ton of money and yada, 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 and have a fast car. And it, it takes a lot more than that. And the people that have done it will tell you that. Um, but we just, I like to share it all. So y'all see like the super lows and some of the highs because we share it all. That's just, you know, that's what I do. So um, the car ended up doing really well. I'm proud of it. it. sucks that we got out first round, but we raced a car that was already going sixes. Will this car go sixes? I guarantee this car will go sixes. We just need a little more time and testing. So um, as always, got some maintenance items to do, a few small changes, things we've learned over the weekend, and now we're ready to go back out testing probably in a couple weeks. So hope you guys enjoyed the content on TX2K. Sorry it wasn't very eventful. Um, that's just how racing is sometimes. Weather, shit breaks, you're replacing things. That's just how it goes. So we're going to be back out with his car in a couple weeks, probably testing again. Um, start pushing that thing. Start really actually leaning on it for once because we haven't even leaned on the car. We're not even close to leaning on the car. And then, uh, as y'all saw, the Fox body is getting ready. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys on the next one.